dominant chords on the E string. E is on the zeroth fret. So I go from E, two strings up, and the same fret. So the zeroth fret of the D string. And I get my seventh, and I want a third note. So I want, um, so I go three strings from the root. One fret over. So instead of the zeroth on this string, I could play the first fret. So my E dominant chord is going to look like that. So you can see that a little bit better. F dominant chord. The root is F. The uh, I go two strings over. Same fret. Three strings over. One fret up. And those uh, three notes give me an F dominant chord. F sharp dominant chord. Start on F sharp, go two str uh, strings over and zero frets up. Go three strings over and one fret up. I get my F sharp dominant chord. G dominant chord. Two strings over. One, three strings over, one fret up. There's my G dominant chord. A flat dominant chord. A dominant chord. B flat dominant chord. B dominant chord. C dominant chord. D flat dominant chord. D dominant chord. E flat dominant chord. And guess what? Now I get at the double dot, I get another E down chord. So that's the way I figure out the chord, the dominant chord to any song. Is I always, if I, anytime I see G7, I know. Anytime I see D, C7, I go, I know. And anytime I see D7. So the way to practice that voicing of dominant chord is to play the blues. Um, and so I might play a G blues, and I might go, okay, here's my first dominant chord. So I know it's, that's G, two strings over and one, and zero frets up, three strings over and uh, one fret up. There's my G chord. Take that whole pattern and shift it up to C. Chip, take that whole pattern, shift it up to D. And so I get a nice little blues that I can play like this. Up to C. Back to G. Up to D. Down to C. G. And that is actually how the blues guys did it back in the day, is they would often just shift a pattern up the neck. So make sure you know all those dominant chords on the E string, and you're going to be well on your way to be able to play any chord.